I don't understand they made a whole pack of cool tiny living in. Where's the tiny stuff? Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're all having a good week. I was scrolling on Twitter and I came across this tweet. your Twitter next time. Ugh. Speaking of calling people out for stupid things, I wanted to talk about building tiny homes in The Sims 4. I think we've all seen a very popular build challenge called the 3x3 build challenge. What is tiny about 3x3? I think we can take it to the next level. It's tiny living. I'm thinking 3x2 build challenge. Has anyone even tried a 3x2 build challenge? <laughs> Apparently it's a very popular challenge. People are doing two by two build challenges. How do you fit a bed? Don't understand. So we're gonna do a three by two build challenge today. It's gonna to be small. It's gonna sleep one sim. Okay, let's just grab a completely random sim. Stunning. So your name is Ronan Rain. Oh, Ronan Rain. That is such a cool name. Oh, Blue Steel, am I right? <laughs> That's really small. I did not think this through. Oh God. Why, why is it so tall? How are we gonna make that look nice? One thing I was thinking for the roof, cause we've got the new platforms now, I wanted to use them. What if the, so that's glass. Like that. The alternative is to put, is to do this obviously without the platforms and I, I just can't bring myself to do that so this is the sort of build that we're gonna get some massive tree and we're gonna landscape like that ta-da I finished my challenge thank you guys for watching see you next week no absolutely not this will look It's just so flat. Okay, realistically, what do we need? We have one sim, we have Ronan. This is all um, filler furniture, by the way. I'm not keeping any of this, it all looks hideous. But just so I'm thinking about how to lay out the rooms. I was thinking bedroom, top floor, and that is all that can be on the top floor. Maybe like a skill building item. The bar, it's gonna be a two tile bathroom and entertainment center in the middle and kitchen. I don't think we can have that door because we're gonna have to put the ladder there. Why can't you stack ladders or stretch ladders? The other ladder's gonna have to go here. The bathroom, if I put the bathroom here, can your sim still get? No, it doesn't work. The ladder, ah! So this door is an absolute no-go. It has to be a one tile door. See, it's just gonna look so horrible, not centered. Do you know what? That might actually be okay for what we want. Ugh, that looks hideous. That just looks like a bollard. Maybe I should have done some research on tall skinny houses and how to make them not look like... Let's do that there. And I'm thinking we need one there. It'll be fine. We'll fix it with the tree. We could just go for a uh, white and black look inside the build as well. actually playing in this house like this is that is a fully functional kitchen because your sims will cook and prepare food on the corner counter so i don't think we actually need oh bin i never put bins in my builds see if i put the bin there will he use the ladder right let's go here Ronan. uh just when you think sims are getting smart I mean, we could just have an outside bin because outside is literally there. I really wanted a table. There's like a tall bar table. Ooh. Oh, it's still massive. Could we just scooch? Ah, oh, okay, cook something. This has so much room now. Ah, oh, it's functional. Wait, can he sit down? 
Yes! That's like a perfect kitchen. Just sort of. I don't know if that makes the fridge unusable, but we will play test the whole thing. Yeah, I really like that. I think that's nice. So what else do we need for functional kitchen? We have no bin because what I'm going to do is put an outside bin there. <gasps> We've not got a sink. Ah! Where are we going to put a sink? Were you guys screaming at me when I was just saying, oh, it's only missing a bin. It's missing a sink. Technically, your Sims would just put it in the bin if there's no sink. And there's a shower to get your hygiene up. I don't know, I think. Or if we were to put the shower in the middle and a toilet one end and a sink the other, I think that would work. So if there's a sink there, there's a sink. You can wash your hands. Obviously, logistically, it doesn't. that doesn't really work, but it's the sims and i will not be held accountable to realism i actually love building bathrooms in the sims i think the main reason i love it is that they're simple you need a toilet you need a sink you need a shower a few accessories that's the bathroom finished whereas all these other miscellaneous rooms can have um, anything in them whereas you you know what you're doing in a bathroom okay i would really like a tv which means we need a chair. Do you have a chair there? Because if that's functional, I am so, I'm fine with that. Let's let's put a computer in and then get Ronan to come and play test it. Let's play test this house. Okay, I want you to use the toilet. Yeah, I think that will work. I might have cracked it. Can you alt place? If we could alt place the ladder, we could put it on a half tile here and then you could have the seat there and the TV there and there would still be enough room up here. But obviously you can't do that, which is a massive oversight from the Sims team as always. And I'm disgusted with EA because it has ruined my build plans. Okay. Oh, incredible. The house is fully functional. Thank you, thank you, yes. I will accept the tiny house champion crown. So I've pretty much done the living room. What colours have they got? Is there like a nice... That's quite cute. So basic. I have like a black side. That's a bit more interesting. I love the idea of having a bookcase there. We'll play test it, but I don't think that will work. Let me change the lighting. It was quite nice when it was bright. Yeah. My biggest problem with this house is I hate how it looks from the front. I'm building a micro home, but we have 10 tiles left. So why not make a little porch? If it adds something, I don't know if it adds quite what I want because we could build something with platforms. <gasps> we could do it like that. That is so weird. It's, it's something i'm just thinking about practicality you'd probably need a table and chairs even though there is a functioning table inside if ronan was ever to have some guests around he would probably want to be able to entertain them i don't know if that's hiding it as well as i wanted it to but it's fine oh my god my game's frozen i haven't saved it i haven't even saved it once oh. i've been reading today because this is Thursday and the patch came out on Tuesday to, to add the new foundations before the expansion pack came out. And I've been reading for the past few days about people talking about their game crashing and how it's not been great. And I have not had that experience at all. Until now. <gasps> Thank you, Lord. Yeah, my game's not done that at all. I don't know what you guys are talking about. A sprinkler out there. <laughs> Stunning. Uh, that's kind of it, you know. Yeah, I think I'm finished. I say I think I've finished. We should probably play test it one more time all the way through just to make sure that it works. I was a lot more confident coming into this than maybe I should have been because I thought this would be really easy and it's proven 
quite the challenge. Where's the... The ladder's gone as well. What have I changed here that would have got rid of the ladder? Is it something to do with this? It's the platform. That's fine because what we could do, not that I'm trying to use up every single tile we've got, but we could just extend this. It could be like that instead. That's so interesting that you can't have the ladder connected to the platform or on the adjacent tile. Is he gonna sit down? Yes. And look, Pat, oh. I pretend I do not see it. <laughs> That's fine. That it's functional. That was the question. Ah, oh, incredible. And we know they both work. So the house is completely functional. If you want my humble opinion, I big fat destroyed that build challenge. The house was a hundred percent functional, and we included skill building items. We had a fully functioning bathroom with a sink. There was a TV, there was a place to sit, there was a computer, there was a fully functional kitchen, dining room table. I mean, what more could you want? And it was a microphone. And it was even smaller than a microphone. It was only 22 tiles. And then we added a platform roof, but we could have had 22 tiles. So yes, yeah, three by three build challenge. Who? I don't know her. And I'm coming for two by two build challenge. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments because I would big fat destroy that one as well. Probably not because where do you put a bed in a two by two build challenge? I someone tell me, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. I put out new videos every Thursday and Sunday. Bye.